Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do variance calculation in Excel. Uh, this is uh, almost a part of every single intro or basic statistics course and uh, it, it, I had to do this uh, multiple times before and I've seen a lot of my students also have to do this. So I thought that uh, would be uh, a, good, a good idea to uh, go through this and explain what's going on in calculating the variance uh, step by step in Excel. Okay, And I'll also show you after you've done it that there's a, a simple sh uh, fu function in Excel that will do this for you without all the hard work. Okay, But first of all, here we go. So we have 10 observation or we have a sample of 10 observations and here are our observations. Okay. So this is our values, our x values, okay? So the first thing we want to do is let's get the average of these values, okay? Because in the variance formula, we need to have x bar. So we'll do that over here on the side. I've labeled this mean or average x bar, and I'll put it right here. And there's a formula in Excel that does this for us. It's every formula starts with the equal sign, and that formula is average. And then you open the parentheses and then you highlight the x values. Okay? Then you close the parentheses and hit enter. And the average of these 10 x values is 7. Okay? We're going to need that in our next column, which is we're going to get the deviations from x. Okay? So the for formula we use here is equals x, just like it's, it says here, minus x bar. And before you hit enter, so that you can copy this formula down all the way for the rest of the observations instead of typing it 10 times, hit F4. And what this does is it puts dollar signs around K6, which is this guy right here. And the reason for that is it, uh, it locks that cell reference. So when I pull this formula down, if you're new to Excel, what happens is Excel automatically moves things that are not absolute referenced with F4 down with it. Whereas the one that we put the dollar signs around by hitting F4, this cell, did not move. As you can see, it's still highlighted here, whereas this one is has moved down to C7. Okay, So we can just grab the bottom right-hand corner, make sure you get this plus sign, this black plus line, and just drag it all the way down. So we got our deviations from the mean. Okay. Now the next column is simply the deviations from the mean squared. So we already got the devi deviations, so all we have to do here is square these numbers. So equals reference d6, and then use the caret to uh, do an exponent, and then square. And so 8 squared is 64. 4 squared is 16, 1 squared is 1, any negative number squared is the positive, right? We could drag that all the way down and fill without formatting. Okay, so now we got all the things we need. Next step, let's get the totals of these columns, okay? So for that, we can use equals sum function, highlight all the values, close the parentheses, hit enter. So all these x values added up is 70. And then we can grab the bottom right hand corner and drag this sum function to the right. And this is the number we're really interested in. Let me bold in that so that it pops out. And as you know, the formula for cr calculating the variance of a sample is the sum of the squared deviations, which is represented by this, right? These are the deviations from the mean. Right? These are the squared deviations from the mean. And then this number is the sum of the squared deviations from the mean divided by n minus 1. And what's n in this case? n for us is equal to 10. It's just the number of observations we had. Right? And that's why I made this column here, so that's clear.
Okay, so the variance, and we can calculate that here. I made a little space for it. So I call this variance done the long way, which is what we did all over here. So just like any calculation you want to make in Excel, you got to start with the equal sign. So we know the variance formula is the sum of the squared deviations, and these are the squared deviations from, divided by, so the sum of the squared deviations, which is 154, and we'll reference that, divided by n minus 1. And n is 10, so n minus 1 is simply 9. And we could hit enter, and that's our variance, 17.11. Okay? Now, that's pretty much what the assignment is, but to take it one step further and check, and also at the same time maybe learn a new function and appreciate the value of functions in Excel, how easy they make life, let's use a function built into Excel called the variance function. And the way you use this function is equals VAR, and you open the parentheses, and then you simply highlight the original observations the x values. Let's highlight all 10 of them and then close the parentheses and hit enter and we see we get the same exact value 17.11 okay so our hard work paid off we got the same value we also learned a new function and uh, maybe we appreciate the value of maybe learning some Excel functions to make life a lot easier okay so I hope this was helpful I got a bunch of other basic statistics videos as well as intermediate and maybe advanced videos. Also I got a lot of tutorial videos on basic Excel functionality, intermediate functionality, making charts and all kinds of things that you might need. Okay, So make sure you comment and like, subscribe to my page and let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.